Hi. I will be your virtual counselor today. Please click on the start button when you are ready to start the interview. I conduct research in affective computing, which is a new field of uh, computer science. In the past few years, my lab has focused on virtual health agents. Some people call them medical avatars. We have created some wonderful agents in the lab that have the ability to interact with you. They can show empathy. Our work is focused on drinking at the moment. Um, we provide a drinker's checkup as well as several other assessments so that people, if they aren't aware that they have a problem, can one, be made aware that they have a problem. How often do you have a drink containing alcohol? Two or three times a week. People with uh, lifestyle issues, especially in the West, with uh, heavy drinking, dr illegal drug use, uh, overeating, the general practitioner usually spends 10 minutes to tell them, okay, you have a problem, you have to change your behavior, come back in six, six months and tell me, okay, this is what you've done. The problem is people do not change easily uh, those kind of patterns of behavior, so they need support. So those agents are here to be available 24-7, anytime, anywhere with busy people. You do not need to go back to the doctor. It can be complementary to the doctor's office. What we're looking at now is, will human interaction with this avatar be believable? Will people find it enjoyable? And will people somehow change small aspects of their behavior from a brief intervention uh, with the avatar. Now we have done some studies on uh, adults, young adults, uh, comparing a text-based only intervent, computer-based interventions, which ask the same kind of questions that we uh, ask with our agents. And we found that uh, those users found the interaction much more engaging, and therefore it increased their likelihood to reuse the system. So what would be good is if we would, um, ideally, we would match, depending on the ethnicity of the, okay. of, the, of the person, then we would load a character of the same ethnicity because there seems to be some evidence that patient-physician concordance is, uh, is important. Can we uh, try checking the lip sync with the text-to-speech to see how well it's syncing with the speech? It's very hard, specifically, to create characters that look real but also don't look too real to the point where they look creepy. You know, they always say that very realistic characters aren't really exactly what people like to and they feel like they're actually talking to a real human being. Medical avatars will not be a substitute for clinicians or for interactions with other people. But what it does do is it does enhance your own ability to care for your health. And that's what the avatars hopefully will be in the future, is they will be enhancements for people to care for themselves.